Hey guys, Chip here. Hey, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, adding some kinds of textures to your lighting. Now, I know there's been some other videos that have, been, have had this on there, but none of them really actually covered all the little components that you're going to need that I could find at least. I mean, maybe probably is one out there, but I thought, what the heck, I might as well just go ahead and, and do one. If nothing else for myself uh, so I can remember all this stuff. So let's talk about this. I've got this scene here and let's go ahead and let's just, since we're in Eevee, I'm going to turn on the scene lights and the scene world. And I'm going to go into the world. I'm going to delete it. So I've got a black scene and I'm going to use lights. Let's see. And I'm going to delete all the lights. Delete uh, hierarchy. So I have no lights. Turn off face orientation. Shift A. Let's go ahead and add a, we're going to add a spotlight because you need a spotlight in order for this stuff to work so I'm gonna move out here kind of move it up a little bit more and let's give this spot let's do maybe 5,000 there we are and we'll keep going up higher 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 there we go so now we can start to see how this works I'm gonna move it a little bit over to here and I'm gonna rotate it on the Y a little so I can get kind of a, a look there and another kind of a way to do this is you can also do RR and then you can kind of move it around how you like it. So anyway, there we have it. Let's give us a little more, like maybe 10,000. Make sure we have a real bright surface. So there's our image. Now let's go in. And what I want to do is I want to add a texture to this light. So the way we do that is we open up the shader editor and we hit this use nodes thing. We're going to get this right. And then with node wrangler install, we'll do Control T, and I'm gonna move this over here. And while I've got this open, I'm gonna say Shift A, and I'm gonna add an input of value, or I can search for value, and just stick it in here to the scale, so that works good. And this is real important. Make sure you hook this up to normal, so that's gonna be key. And what I'll do now is I am going to open a texture file. So let's go into my textures, and you see I've got a lot of different textures here. I'm gonna grab this, this diagonal lines texture. And uh, as you can see, nothing happens, right? And why is that? Well, it's because these lights only are going to work from cycles. And now you can see nothing happens again. So let's go ahead and let's change the scale. And as we start to change the scale, you're starting to see something is happening. And one thing to note is that we kind of want to make sure that this radius is going to cover how sharp these lines are. You can see they're kind of they're kind of fuzzy, but if I make this radius down to, you know, zero, you see that those are real sharp. So if you want to control the sharpness, use this radius, this radius button here to do that. So you can get a little idea and then you can chose, you can adjust, you know, the value here. So, uh, I, I mean, you can adjust the number in, of these here. Make sure you're using a tileable texture to do that. And then you can go over to rotation. And if you want to, you can adjust the rotation here. So that's real simple. Okay. So let's uh, talk a little bit about what happens if you don't have a texture image and you want to use a procedural texture. So let's talk about that. So I'm going to shift a, I'm going to grab a texture that is called a gradient texture. I'm going to drop it in here and let's move these out here, move them out over here. And we also want to basically go ahead and let's hook up our vector to this as well. And then we will take this FAC and we'll move it to the color. So let's take a look at that. And you see that's what we have. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to put a math node in. So I'm going to say converter math, or I can search for it. And I put a math in here and I'm going to make it a sign right there. And then I want to basically take this and move this up. And as I move it up, you start to see that we get some nice angles and I can come in here and I can take this rotation and I can rotate it around the way we did before. So, and really, so that's just another example of how you might use that. Now you can also say shift a, and let's just go into a texture and let's grab a noise or let's do instead of a noise, we'll do a, uh, Veronois texture and then this time I'll do the same thing. I'll put this into the vector here and I'll take the distance. I'll put that into the color and then we'll go into this. Let's just make this a one scale and you can see the circles kind of coming in. In this case, we're going to probably want to use a color ramp in here and that'll allow us to kind of get these things to crispen up if we want. And so that kind of works as Euclidean. We could do a Shepachev, which is like a square. There's, you know, 
and you can adjust the scale of these guys too if you want you know just make them different in you know, different randomness so that's not random at all so and you can put a brick texture and there's all kinds of different things you can do but I just want to show you that now also I'll mention that this strength you know is going to help also in creating more or less light you can just leave this alone and just use adjust this with the strength that'll help as well so hopefully this is helpful it's a quick little technique and I just wanted to explain it a couple things to point out one is the radius is important here that's a real critical thing so if you're not getting much it might be the radius the other thing is make sure you hook up with normal the normal there and then use this scale to adjust your texture so those are the three th oh and then lastly strength of the emission is going to be going to be your friend here as well so, so now that you're through uh creating this you may say to yourself hey but i'd like to save it too so you know if i look at this you can see that we have this light up here and you can use kit ops to save this and let me show you how i'll do it um there's a bunch of ways i'm going to select this light and i am going to go into kit ops the kpac where i want to store this which remember kpac's a folder and i'll right click on this and i'll say kit ops create insert use object origin now what's going to happen is it's going to save that but it's going to actually not be able to give me much of a rendering so what i'll do is i'll just hit this edit insert button and it's going to jump right into here and and now what i want to do is go back into kit ops now i'm in factory mode as you know if you're a kit ops pro user you'll know and i'm going to zoom up a little bit here on this and i'm going to say load render scene and i'll hit the cycles let's see what it looks like in cycles and there it is and you know that might be a little too bright so i might come over here and just come in here and say make this one you know and maybe make it uh maybe i'll just move these numbers down a little bit something like this okay that's good and so there's there's that's going to be what the thumbnail is going to look like and i'll just say render thumbnail and once i've done that let's go to a new scene new general don't save okay here we are in a new scene uh let's delete these we'll go back in you know again set this up the way we want and we need to go into our kit ops and we'll find that we have this test and we have this spot blinds and i'm going to just add the insert and move it up and as i move it up we'll start to see that it just works so we're obviously in cycles don't forget it won't work in, unless you're in cycles but once you're in cycles it works just great so anyway that's really kind of a cool way i'm going to go ahead include this to my one dollar patrons as well uh, as I'll probably throw a copy over on my Discord somewhere as well. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys online. Bye.